Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. Uh, well, I've got a little project uh, for my IC705 that I thought I'd share. Every video that I've seen where somebody has the 705 out in the field, I mean, it's a marvelous little radio, like, you know, wee wee, um, but they'll have it sitting on a table, like a picnic table or something. And in every video that I see, they've gone and stuck something under the front of it to lean it back. Uh, to get a better viewing angle, because it wants to sit flat on the table. Well, I designed a stand for it. And one of the design considerations that was going through my head was, uh, if you're doing soda or poda, or you're, you know, you're taking things in the field, you don't want to, to use a lot of space, you know, in your go bag or your backpack. Things should be small and portable. So I wanted my stand to be ultra portable, to take as little space as possible in your backpack. And well, Inside this mailing envelope right here is my stand for the 705. Now that's about as small as you can get. And actually, it's, uh, it's really only about... It's really only about that big. <laughs> so let me put the camera over here on the desk and I'll show you my stand and how it works. Alrighty, I've got my 705 sitting here on the desk. And here is my stand. Oh no! Some assembly required. Eh, that's what makes it portable and it's not a big deal. What I've got here is I've got these straight pieces with notches cut on either end. And then these cradle pieces that the profile of the cradle piece matches the profile of the radio. There's a little cut up here for the bezel. And then this is the bottom of the radio and that slope at the back. And then a little blocking notch there at the end. And uh, yeah, you might be able to see this, I don't know. Right there, there's some text embossed into the uh, piece. It says 10 degrees. That is the amount of angle up on the front. Now to put the stand together, you just take these notches and you just put the pieces into their notches. Move the radio off to the side for a minute. Like so. And there we go. The stand is ready to accept the radio and it just drops into the front of it here. Like that. There we go. And as you can see, now we have a 10 degree up angle. It's extremely stable. I really have to crank on it to make it move. I can operate the radio. Let's turn it on. Of course, we got some glare there from the lights. There we go. And there you are. There's your portable stand. It's nice and stable. The uh, bottom of these pieces is all in contact with the table so that keeps it from sliding around too much. I mean, I really got to I really got to kind of push on it. I think I can even push the buttons. Nah, not quite. I do have to sort of touch the top of the radio to push the buttons. But you do that anyway. If this was sitting uh, if the radio was just sitting on the table by itself and you went to push the buttons, you'd move the radio. So, no difference there. Now, um this is 10 degrees of lift, right? Well, that's not your only choice. Because what I did for this stand was I printed multiple side pieces. And this one here at the back says five degrees. So there's a five degree lift. Uh, here is 15 degrees. That's a 15 degree. And finally, a whopping 20 degrees. So let's, uh, let's look at the extreme here. Let's look at the 20 degree lift. So I can change this out real quick. There we go.
there you are. That's a 20 degree lift. I can't imagine anybody wanting more than that. <laughs> so that's my 3D printed desk stand for the ICOM 705. Uh, very portable, very light, not too bad to print, prints pretty quick. Um, I think it's, uh, it's going to serve me well, and hopefully some of you can uh, make use of it as well. The parts piles are up on Thingiverse. I've put a link down in the description of the video below where you can go to Thingiverse, download the parts, and then 3D print the uh, stand yourself. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, you might check your local city for a hacker space, or your local library might even have a 3D print lab. Those are fairly common in the libraries these days. Or you might just know somebody in the local radio club that has a 3D printer. Seems like a lot of people have them these days. All right, I hope you found that useful, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.